Windows, how's it going? It's the Enforcer here once again with another jersey unboxing video. And I will say this, this is going to be my last unboxing video until I get my reverse retros in. Um, big bulk shipment happening in, in the uh, future, but in the near future, I decided I wanted to find myself uh, one that I hadn't already bought or like pre-ordered. So look for that one to be the next video and then the big care package after that. But what I have here is I've got two in this one, one from uh, Sports K that I bought a ways back and another one was a eBay find. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. I know that we had the, um, officially, I think on the, uh, at the team stores and as well as, uh, shop.nhl, you can go on and get your, uh, reverse retros. So that's very exciting. If you're looking to, uh, pick those up in a rush, they're out there. And I remember at the same time, uh, two years ago when you could go onto the NHL site and onto team stores and find these jerseys. So I just uh, kind of chuckled as to, you know, I knew what was, or I know what is about to happen where sizers are going to be out. There's going to be people on the secondary market selling them and all that good stuff. So if you're able to, hey, they're out there. Um, just will, if you're willing to pay the full price. But these two are not full price. This one here was a uh, was an eBay find, okay? And uh, shout out to uh, to all of the people currently uh, that are doing uh, unboxings because I know personally I was gonna take a little bit of a uh, of a uh, break until I was able to um, find. Um, the reverse retros and those came in but i decided you know what i once again i looked down here i was like oh okay they're, they're here let me throw out a video for all the fine people out there so you guys don't forget about me and let's see what we got here now these both are adidas this ebay one is a pre-owned one i think although this does have tags on it Ooh, very much excite all right so this one is the old school i guess old school now um, Ottawa Senators with the actual, you know, homie staring at you. Looks, it's the first year. All right, so it's got the button there. That looks correct. Neckline looks to be correct as well. Everything looks to be correct. The shoulder patch, I really do like this shoulder patch here, this O. Looks good, but it is that one where it sort of feels like a, I don't want to say flat like those Reebok um, shoulder patches. This one sort of has that, that that silky kind of feel to it, but not quite vinyl-y. I know that, uh, that BA, not a fan of these, and I tend to agree with you. These are not of the best kind. It's almost like they don't make a jersey perfect so that when they improve on it later, they sell you the same thing. Hmm, shocking how they do that, all right? Logo here. I do like this logo. This logo does look nice. This guy, this is a nice looking fella, nice looking gent. He does not have the Scooby-Doo eyes that follow you around. Um, and as you can see back there, that is what they rock now, and then that is their old third that they had that is the shoulder patch so this guy right here i absolutely dig this thing and yeah look tag right there you know what there's so many folks that hate when i leave them on i'll do you guys a favor there it's off not like I could return it anyway. Like I've had this thing for so long. It, it's it's going to be mine. So I'll toss this baby on. Then we'll get to another one that I'm kind of interested in. Because if you guys saw my 
New Jersey, Jersey, Jersey unboxing. It was a uh, Nico Heischer, which by the way, man, those devils are, are got it going. Um, it said that those letters and numbers, I guess it, it's a name and numbered one, um, much in that same vein. So very excited to get to that one. But first, this one here, we'll show you how this baby looks all the way down here. Look at this guy. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, people uh, think that they know they, they're missing me, but really, they're gonna really end up missing uh, uh, all this great stuff that I can do. See what? See, look. So there, that guy is. Beautiful hat, by the way. That's a beautiful hat. And right here, onto shoulder patch, right here. And on down, the weird black down at the bottom with the white in the middle. So that looks a little bit like that. So there that is. There's one. There's one for us. All right, doesn't look all that bad. The 60 fits quite well. I'm good with that. Beautiful. And probably now we're going to get to the other guys that I have here. So we're going to take this guy off. And yeah, you know, let me know down uh, down now that we got some reverse retros, um, you know, if you're not an unboxer, if you're just, you know, a part of the, uh, the Friendo community that watches here, I'd love to know what jerseys um, you've got your eye on. I know that, um, that, uh, that there's a lot of intrigue now, especially with the, uh, with the view counts that I had on my uh, ranking of what I felt uh, about that. A lot of discussion, and thank you so much if you were one of those people that uh, got into the uh, chat room, or not chat, but down the comments, and let me know your thoughts about my list. I know everyone agreed, everyone said that, hey, you know what, absolutely, Enforcer, we agree with everything that you said in there. Um, and uh, there's no argument that can be had, of course. Everyone agreed, like, oh, 100%, that's, that's the list. <clears throat> No, comments roasted me saying, you know, I, I had uh, one of the most upside down lists that there is, but to each their own. And that's the beauty of it. Uh, everyone is a, you know, that is a hockey jersey collector, is a hockey jersey collector, but everyone's on a different path to fulfill their jersey uh, uh, collecting itch. So I love that everybody has their opinions about all this stuff. I love it. That's that's why they make all of these jerseys. That's why they make the jerseys. That's why people go out on a limb. It's because of that. So I appreciate that. So thank you, everybody. Okay, this one, like I said, was from Sports K. SportsK.com. Not going to... Uh, okay. Not going to... Um, um, I know that if you're looking for the goat head, the, the buffalo one, certain sizes, Sports K has it. The Blasty with the little flames, the textured flames on the ends, which got me a little itchy, but I'm cool with my reverse retro of that. Um, but yeah, there are there are pieces out there on order. People are starting to get the refills, so check those usual sites that you normally would. Uh, Tis the season. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you, Sports K. They threw in this beautiful Golden Knights patch. Oh, I love it. Actually, what I did with the um, All-Star game that they had in St. Louis, um, I actually threw this patch because it's very, like, muted. Like, um, it's just the gray with the silver, and it's just, um, I, I got the black one. Uh, did I get the black one or the gray one of it? So it's very plain. I threw this patch on the shoulder. Actually looks real good. I know it's a faux pas. It's not supposed to be there, but it looks really good. So... Sports K, uh, that's what I did with the last one you gave me. So thank you. I'm gonna find a, we'll find something to do that. I wanna, I wanna get the 2022 All Star Game. Uh, throw a Marcia so on that one. I already got the the All Star patch, and now with that, I'd be golden. So thank you, Sports K. This one here. Hey, there we go. Now this one. Pardon me, excuse me. This one is a prime green. 
This one is a prime green. Out we go with this. Take out the backing. And of course, once I get this jersey, they don't wear it anymore, <laughs> which, which is fine. Or do they wear it? Maybe they, I'm not sure. But what's got me intrigued is the letters and the numbers. But this one is, I guess, their old home Oilers orange jersey here. And you see the C, and everybody knows what that means. It's Connor McDavid time. Connor McDavid. And like I said, Sports K said in their listings that this one was um, a different texture uh, for the names and letters. And I'll show you up close what that is. So there's the tag. Like I said, this is a factory installed Adidas. Was born on June 2021. And I will show you lettering like i said um I, you know what i'll do it like the same thing i think i did with the uh with, with the he shirt if anybody was wondering about factory installed name and number kits now and i know that the last ones were just the one block vinyl so i'll show you i'll flip this thing all the way on the inside so they still have like that install that's on here all right you can take that off and you see the stitching that's in there as well as on the seat, as well as on the numbers on the back. So that's what you got with that. But on the inside or on the outside, thank you for bearing with me. Didn't realize this was going to be such an endeavor. So thank you. And if you can see, as I bring this closer, to you hopefully with the backlighting you can see that it is two layers sewn onto the other one looking pretty nice you could feel like the texture out if if you want to you could find that vinyl but it does not it does not it does not feel like the old school the previous ones and I will show you right here the nameplate right there each layer stitched and the numbers as well are the same way so that is an upgrade and you can feel the weight of it, but one thing I do dig, and I'm, I'm gonna circle back, I sort of kind of buried the lead, the Euler oil drop. You can see the three-dimensional three dimensionalness of the logo right there, where it looks like it was dripping, like the oil was dripping down. That is a cool, cool technique that they use with that. And then also on the big, oil drop right there so that looks good now i always worry about throwing this on because usually with name and number kits you don't get that same sort of stretchy stretch that you would on a um non name and numbered but that is the risk you run oh Oh, oh, yep. Tight city, baby. Tight city. This means the old enforcer's got to uh, do a little cardio here. Do a little cardio. Do a little cardio. So, there. That is the super loud, super orangey guy. We'll be honest with you. I am more a fan of this guy than this. Very happy that the Oilers decided to go back to their kind of old school look. This is a Heroes of Hockey that I got from Ben H. See, it is an Adidas. Um, actually, this thing looks pretty, pretty spiffy right here. 
So they rock that more closely to that. This one, I believe, I think they've went away with this, which is fine. That's just, that's just what you do. So come on with me, everybody. Show you no shoulder patches on this guy. But right down here, you will see that Oilers logo. You could really see the three-dimensionalness right there. And I will show you once again up close that C. Once again, this is a factory installed prime green. That's how it's looking now. And I'll go over here so you can see the numbers as well. That's what that is. And there that is. So that's good. And friendos, I have gone through my backlog. I have no more to provide you for unboxings until I get some of my reverse retros in. Now, if I go through some pieces of the collection to show you guys what's here, then I'll be able to do that. But don't look for me to give you anything until I get a reverse retro in my hand. And uh, hopefully, happy hunting to everybody else. Hopefully, you got your pre-orders in. You talked to who you need to talk to. Um, you figured out your game plan. Hopefully, for those, I know there were a lot of people that missed out on the first set thinking, ah, whatever, no big deal. They're, they'll get more in. They never did. Then secondary market shot up for people that were looking for it and people missed them some people were able to lucky enough to pick them up luckily i i knew you know the hockey guy was saying he was into it he was saying hey this is one run and i was like okay i need to get what i can get while i can and even then i missed out on that kings had to get that in the secondary market but plenty other ones i was able to scoop up in the first reverse retro like uh like the um the um help me help me help me coyotes um like blasty like a whole bunch of other ones i was able to get my hands on so this time like i've said before not looking to get too many pieces out of number two and right now i'm at nine and i feel good at nine feel good at nine okay <laughs> feel good at nine so that's where i'm gonna that's where i i think i'm gonna land um, I did appreciate that I saw um, Pittsburgh rock theirs. That thing looks beautiful. I saw that uh, when Detroit was rolling around here, stupid Steve, I forgot that Detroit was down the way at uh, in L.A. and then up over there in Anaheim and totally was asleep at the wheel. Stupid Steve, maybe next year. Um, but yeah, I saw that the uh, the Kings wore theirs against the wings and then the ducks wore theirs and i was watching the feed of the uh, sharks when they played the knights and they said that they were giving away for when the wings are playing them a uh golden seal scarf for uh, the first uh thousand couple thousand people that enter the building which means i believe that Detroit will have will be playing all of the california teams in california with all of them wearing their reverse retro 2.0 so i think that's pretty cool that the uh, wings have that little feather in the cap now watch the sharks end up not uh, wearing it and making me look like a big dummy but not the first time so anyway friendos i know i covered a lot of ground but uh, anything in this video that piqued your interest go on comment section down below hit like uh subscribe click that bell so you know when I'm going to be having that video for uh, the reverse retro coming out, come out, be on the lookout for that when I get it. And uh, until then, friendos, I'll see you guys later. Have yourself a wonderful one. Say something nice to somebody out there. You never know. It's going to make their day. Just like a like may make you feel better, like Larry NHL says, saying something nice may make everybody feel a little better. Like this. Appreciate Love and respect each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.